Once upon a time, there was an old small village named Kampong Paritbunga located in Mua Joho. A family decided to move away from a hectic city life and settle down in the village to find some inner peace. Every century in Kampong Paritbunga, there will constantly be a piece of breaking news on young kids' disappearance and the mystery has never been resolved. A rumor says that a wicked astral spirit kills and consumes their hearts to complete a spectral circle as dictated by infernal motive. Mariam and Jeffrey are busy unloading their goods from the moving truck, while Andina is chasing after the neighbor's chicken all around the new yard happily. Andina. Could you please lend your parents a hand and stop running around? Eh, Bonda, can't you see my hands are full at the moment? Hey, bertuah punya budak boleh pula dikejar ayam. Anak Bonda sayang, don't think about it too much. Tomorrow will be a new day for us in this new house. If you need anything, you can just call me. Okay? Good night, love. Sleep tight. Bonda, you know, it's not easy to start over. But, um, okay, Bonda. Good night, too. I love you. The clock is ticking and Andina could not sleep since it is her first night in her new room. She tosses and turns until a very fragrant smell lingers which makes her curious. She goes outside of her house and sees a white flower. Amazed by its beauty and fragrance, she plucks and smells it. Andina opens her eyes and finds herself in the middle of a busy village road. Clouded with question marks of her current assistant, Andina screams for her parents. Bonda? Aya? Are you there? Am I seeing things? This place looks so different. It's like I have almost never been here. Oh no! My flowers! I'm sorry. I didn't see you there. Hi. I'm Andina, by the way. I was just about to... Uh... As Andina tries to help the lady, the villagers give her a weird look. In a glance, the lady is out of her sight. Out of nowhere, an old woman walks towards her. Hello, young girl. Are you okay? You seem lost, my dear. Seems like you have caused an uproar among the villagers. You are not from somewhere here, are you? Huh? Hi, I think I am lost. One second, I was in my room, and the next thing I knew, I am in the middle of nowhere. I bumped into a lady just now, so I tried to help her, but everyone keeps staring at me, like I am some kind of a foreign object. It's okay, but let's find some place more quiet than here. Come, follow me. Bewildered by her situation, Andina follows the old woman with the hope that everything can go back to normal. Tok Yan starts humming to Nenek Sibongkot Tiga Melody. Why, Tokyan? Look at you. You dress so differently 
than most of us here. This? What's so different about pajamas? Don't we go to sleep wearing this? No, nah. Not by wearing that in 1921. Poor thing. What did you do? Let me help you. What the old woman said took Andina by surprise. She tries to recall the reason for her being in the middle of nowhere, but failed. Wait, did you just say 1921? No, that can't be happening. It's 2021. We are in the middle of a pandemic. My parents will be looking for me. Damn it, I didn't bring my iPhone with me. I am begging you, please, you need to help me. I can't recall anything. Shh. It's okay. Slow down. The key is to keep track of the first thing that happened to you. A whole day was wasted and Tokyan offers Andina food and shelter. Andina? Rest up now. Tomorrow, we will continue to search for the young lady. Here, take this blanket. It is cold tonight. Thank you, Tatyan. I didn't know what I would do without you. Good night. If anyone was to hear the song, let alone the melody, we would shrivel in terror because there's a story that the song is an act of calling Nenek Bongkotika. The description of how the Nenek looks is scary. Ada rupa macam nini. Ish, ish, ish. Enough, Andina. Those are just made up stories. Jangan mudah percaya apa yang diceritakan orang. Tidurlah nak. Besok bakal muncul hari yang indah. Tok Yan. I just remembered I never properly introduced myself to you. How did you know my name is Andina? As the clock strikes 12 midnight, the owl hoots and the wind blows strongly but sweetly with a fragrant smell. Some noises came from the villages, closing windows and locking doors. As it is that time of the year again. Andina woke up alone by the sound of the commotion, feeling agitated. What, what happened? Where am I? Tuyan? Oh, Tuyan. Are you there? La 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 Oh Andina, I do not know how should I be thankful for your presence, my dear.
Kato Ian kills Andina and eats her heart in order for her to turn into Bakawali eternally for another century. Bakawali walks into a stall to buy some kuih. She overhears a group of people talking by the stall. Hey, it's the new neighbor's daughter. Allahu Akbar, I told you that house is haunted. So scary lah. 